thanks everyone for taking time to join our webinar today. Uh, as you see, five things you didn't know about Starship for Stage 100. Um, I honestly could probably go through a, a lot of different things you probably don't know about, but for today, for now, uh, for this one webinar, we just picked out uh, five, but I uh, most certainly look forward to some more of these in the future. Uh, just Again, just going over Starship functionality that I find either one, a lot of existing customers um, don't know about, so they're not taking advantage. And of course, for any new prospects out there, you know, just learning about Starship's integration with Stage 100. Uh, so with that being said, uh, what I'll do is just advance the slide. And real quick, we'll just talk a little bit about V Technologies as a, as a company, for those that are unfamiliar with uh, V Technologies. Um, as you see, we've been developing integrated shipping solutions uh, since 1987, so 34 years now. Uh, at V Technologies, that's all we do is integrated shipping solutions or software. Uh, everything we do is done in-house, so things like our support, if you need help uh, and you call our support team, you're gonna get the, the guys in the office right in Connecticut. Okay. Uh, now, working with Sage 100, we do integrate with a dozen other ERP systems, but uh, I've been working with the Sage product line for the longest, 21 years, as you can see. We do integrate with 100, 300, and 500, and of course, uh, we are a Sage Gold development partner. And currently, we have about 10,000 customers that uh, use our integrated shipping solutions to help streamline their day-to-day -day shipping activity. All right, so some bold points and things we're going to cover today. Um, of course, uh, we're going to discuss on-prem or in the cloud, so if you're not aware, one of the new things with Starship is our full-blown cloud version. Uh, so nice with that is, you know, we're going to host it, we're going to maintain it, update it for you, so one less thing you have to worry about in, in your environment. Um, with the cloud version, it's really the same look, feel as the Starship version that I'm going to show you today. I'll be showing you the on-prem with the web UI interface. Uh, that's something else that uh, a lot of uh, current customers might not know about. If anyone out there is using the desktop client, uh, we do have a new web UI that you're going to see today. Um, so with the cloud, again, it's going to be the same look and feel that I'm showing you today, uh, but with cloud, it's going to be SaaS-based pricing. So uh, with that cloud, we're going to have different tiers, uh, monthly tiers for payment plans uh, based off your shipping volume. So of course, the number of small package or small parcel packages you ship per month. And if we're doing LTL, it's going to be the number of LTL shipments. Um, so great new offering. Nice thing with cloud uh, also is you do gain access, depending on the plan that you pick, um, to all the carriers that Starship integrates with. So all the carriers, even all the e-commerce integrations we have, and we'll get into that in a moment. Um, but some different op uh, options there. So on-prem, uh, of course, a, a greater uh, upfront investment, um, but just know now uh, we do have the two different offerings for Starship. Uh, we're going to talk about our dashboard program. Uh, this is uh, something I find that a lot of clients, uh, current clients uh, that have been using Starship for a long time, uh, don't even know that they have. And so, of course, they're not using it. Uh, but you'll see Dashboard is a great reporting tool uh, that we can get into and see history. We can run a bunch of canned reports. Um, so we'll jump in and dive into that. And then, of course, with Starship now, we do have integrations with over two dozen small parcel as well as LTL combined carriers. Um, so the nice thing with having multiple carriers that you can use to ship in with a, in a course rate shop, um, it's a lot better. You know, kind of that theory of more more tools in the shed, and especially now everything with COVID, uh, you know, finding a lot of customers that for LTL shipments, for example, where you know, oh yeah, we're only using two different trucking companies, and now of course all the trucking companies are backlogged. So it's you know they're finding, hey, we you know can't come get that shipment until three or four weeks from now. So it's nice to have. Uh, the ability to rate shop multiple carriers and being able to, you know, see who's going to be able to pick it up the fastest or maybe even just get the shipment to its final destination in the shortest amount of time. Okay. Uh, E-commerce integrations, uh, as I mentioned, we'll talk about that in a, in a moment and we'll discuss how Starship can integrate with e-commerce sites and then uh, manage delivery expectations. So with Starship, kind of goes along with dashboards is something else I find a lot of customers don't use, and I think it's a great tool, uh, but we have our own email program. Uh, so we can actually create, or you can create your own custom email templates. Uh, that way the information is branded with your company information, not UPS or FedEx or you know whatever the carrier may be. 
Um, and I'll show you an example of one of those, uh, show you some things, what we can do inside Starship. So you could still, if you wanted to, use the carrier-generated email, but also use your own branded email. Okay. And here's just a uh, slide deck that shows some of the carriers that we do integrate with. And of course, with Starship, the carrier integrations is going to allow you to do things like live rate shop. So we're going to ping the carrier, return your live contract rate. There's no staging tables, anything like that. So, you know, tomorrow, if UPS ups a fuel surcharge, when you rate shop tomorrow, you're going to have those new rates. You know, you don't have to download or change a, a rate chart. Uh, again, it's live connections. Uh, LTL carrier integration, depending on, on the carrier, but most of them offer returning the electronic pro number. So that's automatically going to be put inside a Starship and then, of course, passed into Sage. Um, electronic pickup, so it's going to ping the carrier, let them know. Uh, that you have something to pick, you know, be picked up. Um, that way, again, you don't have to call the carrier or mainly go on their website to uh, let them know you have a shipment ready to go or even rate shop. You know, the nice thing with doing live rate shopping from either inside of Starship at time of shipment or we even add a rate quote button inside sales order entry. Uh, you know, now if I'm doing LTL and I'm using five different LTL carriers, I don't have to go to each individual carrier's website or call them. I can just one click of a button, see all the options and, you know, select maybe the least expensive or least fastest, uh, or even have Starship set up where it's automatically going to select the fastest carrier or maybe again, the least expensive. And then here are some of those e-commerce integrations we have. So with the e-commerce integrations, uh, use Magento as an example. We can use those two different ways. We do have uh, what we call the direct integration where right from Starship, I can pull in again with Magento, uh, but works the same with all of these integrations. I can pull an order directly from Magento into Starship, process it, and then Starship, will, of course, will send that information back to the order on Magento. Now, most clients, you know, of course, using an ERP system like Sage 100, we probably want to get our orders from Magento into Sage first. Uh, so we can also use these integrations as what we call an extension, where we're going to bring that order, or you know, you're going to bring, unfortunately, our integration doesn't automatically bring the orders from the website into Sage. But once those orders are inside of Sage, we're going to ship against them as normal. And then what Starship's going to do is send back the shipping information into Sage, again, as normal, but it will also update the order, um, again, on Magento, for example. Uh, so great things uh, with those e-commerce integrations if needed. Um, and of course, any of this information I'm going over, you know, please feel free. I'll put up my contact information at the end. Uh, we can discuss a more one-on-one -on -one or do a deeper dive demo on any of this. Okay. But of course, don't forget to use the, the questions if you have any. Um, all right, so with that being said, let me uh, close out of here and we'll jump on to my demo machine. So on my machine right now, this is the Starship on-prem web UI version. So anyone who's familiar with the old desktop version, a little different look and feel. Uh, a lot of clients, this is uh, easier to use than the desktop. It is actually faster. Um, so up top here, of course, as normal, sales order, customer invoice, we can pull by the different source information fields. Here is my source field where I can mainly type in, in this case, I'll use sales orders. I can type in a sales order, or if it happens to be barcoded, um, I can actually just use a regular wedge type uh, barcode scanner and just scan in uh, that information. So then Starship, of course, would automatically load it. Uh, again, I'm just going to kind of quickly pull an order for, you know, we only have a little bit of time here, but there are a lot of other features that, again, that a lot of customers don't know about, and we'll save those for another webinar. You know, Group-related orders, just know Starship can consolidate multiple orders going to the same ship to, uh, so we can really help save money, save time by not sending five different shipments to the same ship to address. But here, I'm just going to manually grab this one order. And I'm just going to click this little truck icon. And of course, Starship is automatically going to bring in all my source information. So there's the source, the company, my sender information, recipient information, as always, you know, address validation, residential commercial flag validation, transportation's always automatically being selected by looking at your ship via codes. And that's what's telling Starship carrier service, oops, carrier service, even third party collect shipments we can streamline that where all this information can automatically be populated so as a, a shipper i don't have to stop and manually type in anything 
um, anyone on the phone or on this webinar now that is um, a current Starship user, uh, always think about, you know, if there's anything in your current environment that you're manually selecting or typing in, you know, reach out to us, let us know, because with Starship, as I always say, you know, we're here to help streamline your shipping process. So the less things as a shipper you have to click, type, touch, of course, that's going to be the be the better for you, you know, faster. Um, really, you know, we want to set this up. So we're going to bring in this order and I don't want to have to stop it. Oh yeah, it's third party. I have to type in an account number. Really want to put it where we're going to bring this in and the first spot we go is to this packaging where we can get into the item box detail. Um, if anyone out there is using a WMS system, just know however you hand, uh, define the uh, shipment on that handheld device, that's how it will flow into Starship. Um, but here, this is just a packaging scenario. I have Starship knows, hey, they're shipping a blanket. They always put in a blanket box. Uh, but in this packaging, again, this is where we get into that item box detail if needed. This is where I can add additional boxes. We have repeat box functions where I can tell Starship, you know, hey, I need 10 boxes. I can even copy the original weights. Uh, so if this was a large order, I could quickly add additional packages. And then if I wanted to put items in boxes, like always, it's just drag and drop. I can drag items around, use this database here, which is just Starship's database. You could set up and store your own custom type boxes. You know, we have a bunch set up here. I mean, this goes in a clock large box or a large box. Um, so that's where we get into item box detail. Quantities, of course, is the quantities from the sales order. Um, from here, we do have a security feature. If I want my shippers to back order items, they can do that. Of course, we're going to send that back order to mount back into Sage when we write back. And then actual weight, bill weight is the dimensional weight. So Starship will do the carrier's dimensional calculation. So this right now is rate shopping. And then once we process it, it's going to go to the carrier, in this case being UPS at the correct dimensional weight. So no more of those correction invoices where, oh, you sent that one box out at six pounds, dimensionally it should have been 19, here's the difference. Okay. Um, and then once that information comes in, again, item box detail, down below is where we can get into that live rate shopping. So as you see, I have some carriers set up, USPS, great option nowadays if, if you are um, you know need something to get there, probably about two business days and, and uh, less, less expensive than UPS and FedEx. Uh, of course, it depends on the zone and, and what we're shipping, but uh, just know USPS now does have some great rates. Um, now, again, this is the live rate shopping. I can also get into setting up Starship to automatically select carriers and services for me. So if I want to take this uh, whole step away from my shipper, I could, again, have Starship set up, automatically change the carrier based on my rules or my criteria. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to click ship and process to process that, and process the shipment. And again, we're just going through this rather quickly. I'm more than happy to do uh, deeper dive demos with anyone. And again, just feel free to reach out. But in a live environment, once we click ship and process, uh, Starship would automatically print out our shipping documents. I just PDF everything so everyone can see them. I also do not have a thermal printer, so I'm just using this smart label, uh, um, which would print a shipping label and packing list together. So this usually just goes to a laser printer. Uh, most certainly shipping labels go to a thermal printer and then packing list can go to a laser printer. We could actually send them to thermal printers as well, or maybe even want to save it as a PDF to a network share. Um, so there's for that box two and then box one documents as always can be customized and, and create uh, printing rules on each of the documents. So if you're maybe shipping for Home Depot and the packing list needs to show their logo, their information, maybe it has a whole section for return information, uh, Starship can know when to automatically generate that special template. But once we click ship and process, as a shipper, it's gonna bring me right back to the main Starship screen. Uh, so from here, one of the things you notice with this web UI and I'm using our direct or business object interface, as a shipper, if you've noticed, I haven't even been in Sage. I, and that's simply because I don't need to be. I, I don't need to have Sage installed on my workstation. I don't have to access Sage um, with this interface here as a shipper. I just stay and work inside of Starship. And regardless of that, it's still a live connection. Uh, so as we're changing in this example with sales orders, you know, as they're adding sales orders or making changes, just know Starship's automatically going to be picking those up. Okay. So as a shipper, I did what I need to do. I processed my shipment receive my documents, I'm just gonna move on to the next one. And then back inside of Sage, I'll quickly show you the right back. Um, Starship is automatically gonna create the invoice. 
So here's invoice for uh, the, oops, let me go to my last one, the sales order we just shipped, 223. And here's my tracking information. Okay, I can even see item box detail. I can even track this using uh, Sage's little tracking icon. And then of course on the totals, here's my freight right back. Um, this is kind of one of those other things you probably didn't know. I'll give you a bonus one here. Uh, with Starship, we do have a custom write back feature and it is standard. So you can actually take additional shipping information and send it back into a user defined field. So for example, here, I'm writing back my freight cost or what the carrier is going to charge me. And that way, before someone updates the invoice, because all Starship's doing is creating them, uh, you're still going to have to print them and do the end of day daily transaction, all that fun stuff. Uh, but they can go through here and compare and make sure, like in this case, hey, wait, wait, we shorted ourselves. You know, what happened? Uh, we gave that customer a discount on freight. Oh, no, they owe us money, so they don't, they're don't. they not eligible for a discount, so this should be $50. Oops. So as you can, uh, number locks would help. So as you can see, uh, custom write back, uh, any additional Starship shipping information, get that back into a user-defined field. Um, so again, that's kind of a, a bonus one I threw in there for you. Um, now let's jump back into Starship. Okay, so dashboard, let me jump in here really quick. Now I'm accessing this dashboard part of the main Starship program, but just know we have this as a standalone and this is included with Starship. It does not require any additional user seats or licenses. Uh, so you can really have anyone you want log into dashboard. Of course, with their login, uh, we can do security roles where, hey, they can only use that to get into the dashboard program. But here I just have some history and statuses selected. You know, maybe I want to see what shipped and voided. So again, quick access to my shipping information. Um, and that's just one. You know, we have overviews, top statistics. I mean, we want to see um, pricing or who are using the most or my top five customers. Um, so all that's going to be able to be accessed right through this dashboard program. Uh, we've added a heat map. This is kind of new to the dashboard where if you want to you can kind of see your hot spots where all your shipments are going uh, you know quickly have access to that and then as i mentioned earlier crystal reports a bunch of canned crystal reports address correction all our daily history shipment reports um, late deliveries this is a great report a lot of clients run this because this does actually compare the guaranteed delivery date to the delivery date or the um, that way it's going to show you any shipment that wasn't delivered on time and we can reach out to the carrier try to get a refund and this charge of uh, comparison report is another one a lot of our clients run where this will show me here are your shipments. It actually has three columns. The applied is going to be what I charge the customer. Middle column is contract, what you're going to be charged by the carrier. And then the third column is a simple plus minus. So you can run this report, make sure you're not losing money on your shipments. So again, all the uh, can crystal reports that we have access to through the um, dashboard program and then also through dashboard is that e-notify program so i'm just going to go in here um, i'm going to over here as you see i have pending failed and sent now i don't send any sort of thing is pending but i think maybe we have a bad email address set up inside of uh sage and starship was bringing that in it's going to show me hey that you know that's not a valid email but i'll just go to pending and we'll grab an example of one of these for you bring this up so again very simple unlimited email templates. On these templates, instead of doing printing rules, you can actually do emailing rules. So maybe I only want a certain template to go to certain customers, we can do that. Uh, but here, just added our company information, brought in Sage fields like PO number, sales order number, where it's going to, maybe let them know, hey, you should expect two packages. This ETA is coming from the carrier, so that's accurate. And then of course, tracking information, item box detail, uh, here is even, uh, hyperlink information sends them right back to the carrier's website so they can track that and for example on this one i've actually added a promo promotional code which you could also hyperlink and send them back to your website uh, and as i mentioned maybe you just want to do a emailing rule on this one so it only goes to certain customers right? so very easy to create these uh, when these get sent out it's up to you they can go as soon as the shipper clicks ship and process you can delay them by a certain number of hours or minutes or what most of our clients that use the notify do is they just simply set a time. Hey, at six o'clock at night, for example, automatically just send out all those emails. All right. 
Um, so again, that's uh, I want to say for a couple times for qu or a little bit of time for questions. But again, brief overview. Uh, like I said, more than happy to schedule one-on-one -on -one deeper dive demos or discussions if there's any customers currently using Starship that want to talk about maybe if you're using the desktop uh, with the old link interface where you're coming from shipping data entry. Uh, we can talk about switching over to this direct interface and also maybe using the web UI. Um, and of course, if any prospects, uh, please feel free to reach out and actually put my contact information back up. 